Hare Krishna, welcome, dear ladies and gentlemen. Um, we were thinking we do a question and answer video because some weeks ago our channel, our YouTube channel changed a lot. Two months ago we were a little YouTube channel um, with 700 subscribers, mostly German, um, German people. And uh, we told stories about Krishna and we showed a little bit about our life here in Mayapur. And suddenly we got invaded by a lot of Indian people who liked our content a lot. And um, suddenly we have uh, 40,000 subscribers, mostly English speaking. So thank, a you, lot very, of thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> thank you for very subscribing. <laughs> And a lot of questions came up under our videos also. And so we said it's time to answer maybe some questions. Yeah. For this. Yeah. I think many of you are curious what two German speaking people doing in India, dressing like Vaishnavas, dressing like Hindus. And uh, so I think that's one of the topics we will discuss today. Um, we made a post, ask you for your questions and the most favorite question, or one of the most favorite questions who came up a lot was um, when and how did you came to know about ISKCON or Hinduism and do you have a job? So these are um, two different questions. Two, two questions. <laughs> so Pradumna, how did you came to ISKCON? Oh, this was about the year 2000 to 2001. I uh, got to know some devotees in Vienna, uh, Austria. And uh, I got to know devotees, they invited me to the, to the center. They had like a little center, preaching center. They invited me. I didn't know anything about Hare Krishna, Krishna and, and, and not much about India, anything. I was like 20, 20 years old, 21 years old. And they invited me to India, and I uh, I went to with them to India for one month, and they showed me everything. They showed me, you know, Vrindavan and Mayapur and Chaknath Puri, and they showed me how to live as a Vaishnava, and you know, I got to know the philosophy a little bit. And yes, short after that, I actually moved into the temple when I was young, twenty one. Years. I just wanted to stay for some time, a few weeks, maybe one month, maybe two months. Uh, was the plan to stay, to make some little program. What then, what 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 does it mean to move into a temple? It was like, like more like a you know it was a big flat, or a preaching center, and you know the devotees lived there. The Hare Krishna devotees lived there. They you know went out preaching. They had a little restaurant going on and. And uh, I joined actually called like a Bhakta program, means like a small program for new people who like to get to know. It's Christian like a consciousness. course, you had to pay for this or no, how it's... It was all free. It's, I mean, you live, live like a monk kind of there. It's like, a, you know, you wake up very early, you go to Mangal Arti, you wake up at four o'clock and you participate in all the programs, you know, they made... Um, RT, Pucha, you live like, you know, you live like a monk, like a, you know, in the ashram. There were also some, you know, Krihastas, um, householders, married couples were also there. About 15 to 20 devotees, we had a big flat rented in Vienna and we just lived together there. And uh, we had some devotees who, you know, made some programs and teached us about Christian consciousness, about the philosophy, about the lifestyle and yeah this was the this was the program there and of course we went out we distributed some books and invited people for sunday feast we made sunday programs and but 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 why did you do that i mean why you you just you, you, it, it sounds like you yeah okay i got some books and then i moved into a temple and but why <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that uh, i mean austria is you know it's a yeah high standard lifestyle where you why do well, you well we have to go a little bit more back <laughs> uh, you know I was yeah, I was I started I don't know around 15 16 years old I mean you know, when I was like this old 
I was uh, I was confused. I was a confused teenager. I didn't know what to do in my life. What is life all about? Everyone around me was, you know, working like crazy, doing party like crazy, and uh, uh, yeah, just a normal lifestyle. And you know, I had very nice, you know, I have very nice parents. I have, you know, two brothers, and we have a nice family life. Everything was good, and. But, you know, slowly with 15, 16, 17, 18, more and more, I ask my questions, what is all about? What is this life all about? Is it all about working and, and earning money and, and enjoy life? So I was questioning deeply what is, you know, what is life about? And yeah, I was, you know, confused and, uh, and, and I was deeply also then start to pray actually, you know, Please, God, show me the way. What is what is life all about? And then suddenly he sent me a Hare Krishna devotee and I became interested. And he invited me to the temple and he explained me all about the philosophy, about, you know, karma, reincarnation, about that I'm a spiritual soul and not this body and that there is more purpose in life than, uh, you know, just what you can see with your eyes. And there's much more behind it actually. And uh, yeah, many things make sense to me. And I read a lot of books, you know, I read Bhagavad Gita, I read Bhagavatam, and you know, also some related spiritual books also to this. And this, uh, I, and you know, this made me more and more to a devotee, to a Hare Krishna devotee or whatever that means. See, something like that. So it didn't, you know, it was like a process, you know, and uh, of course um, it was strange also because, uh, you know, this whole philosophy, this whole lifestyle, it was very, um, it's very uni unique. You don't see it that, <laughs> this, that much in, in Western countries, you know, especially when people, you know, wear this kind of clothes, have tea luck and, you know, wear sari or, or dhoti and it was, you know, it was a little bit strange for myself also and of course for my friends and family but maybe this i think there's another question also about family but what about you how did this happen to you yeah um it's uh, similar i think on one point i also quest it was later in my life when i was a little older i was at the end of my university and i questioned also, what is the uh, purpose in life? And I also remember a particular prayer um, when I said, okay, God, if there is something out there like a God, then please let me know. And two days later, I met a devotee and got introduced in all this um, philosophy. And yeah, it's basically it's basically the, the the mercy of Srila Prabhupada who who went to Western countries, especially yeah. for this, especially for this questioning souls. There are a lot out there. Um, what is the purpose in life? What is the real purpose in life? And Srila Prabhupada wrote the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, especially. Yeah. For us, <laughs> for us questioning yeah, souls. Yeah, I think I have, I have the strong feeling as soon as you actually start to think about this question in life, you know, and really start seeking for some something higher and for you know, for answers, you know, if you mm. have, then you know, often you see, you know, God, Krishna, whoever you want to call him, he is sending people, he's sending books, he's you know, introducing you slowly to this path and. Uh, I felt it very strongly and I can still feel it that, you know, there's some guiding hand uh, buffers and he's guiding us and mm -hmm. uh, on, on our way. And, you know, I cannot, you know, cannot say for myself, you know, that was my choice to become Hare Krishna. And I thought about no. a very, very long time. And then at one point I decided now I became a Hare Krishna. I felt like, you know, I was, con you know, I was, you know, had questions and then I had like a guiding hand above me and he was guiding me and I was just going along the way, I would say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. One question also came up in the, in the comments. Had we uh, another religion before? 
Well, I, I mean, I grew up as a Christian, but my, my parents, my family wasn't very religious, not religious at all. You know, there were some weddings, we went to church and, you know, to Christmas or to Easter, we went to the church. But I know, when you go to the churches, you know, at our countries, the churches are empty. <laughs> More or less, you know, there's just few, few old people. And uh, for me, yeah, religious life was never very prominent or important in my life actually but still of course it gave me some you know i guess a little input maybe more than i actually know now because you know the topic was there you know in in some ways that you know god is there but it's actually not that religion it's you know brought me actually to you know to the to the past i would say it was not religion i think from for you even less growing up in East Germany. No, yeah, I grew up in East Germany and my parents um, followed the communist path quite good. So there there were there were no god at all in our family. But what I had, what I learned from my parents was um, respect. They respected um, people of religion. They never taught bad um, about them. They never they spoke bad about it. it's not it's their choice and um, that's the way they live, but we don't believe. So, and they, I think that's a high value in life, what I learned from my parents, just this, this respect for other people and for other people, for other people's paths also. So even if I'd have no, um, yeah, religious, religious background. But now we can ask the question, but why Krishna consciousness? I mean, there's, you know, many religions, there's many spiritual paths out there, you know, you know, we can be, we had become everything. Why we became <laughs> Hare Krishnas? Why we became, why this? For, for me, I, I really, I, I don't know. It was just, it was, it was the path to catch my heart. Yeah. I had some, I had some, um, a discussions or some austausch, how to say, some it was Exchange. not, exchanges with, with Christian people, but it never touched my heart. Um, I, I don't want to say it cannot happen to everyone. I think the Christian path can also touch people's heart and uh, it does it quite a lot, but it yeah. was just not, not for me. It was just not for me. But, but in this Hare Krishna movement, in these teachings of Srila Prabhupada, there is something and there was something what kind of felt me, okay, wow, here I am at the right place at the right time and I feel satisfied and I want to know more and my questions got answered. And still when I have questions now, I feel they will be answered in, yeah. in, in one way or the other. Yeah. I so. mean, for, for me also, it's first of all, of course, I met them, they invited me, I got to know devotees. And first of all, I liked the devotees a lot. They, you know, seem to be very, you know, nice, open and enthusiastic and, you know, very different also, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. worldview, because if you, if you don't know at all about Vedas or, 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 yeah, all this, all this ancient teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam and suddenly when you're in your twenties, you know, all this. And for me, it was mind blowing all yeah. this new yeah. ways, how you can see life. Yeah. And this, there was, I mean, as a teenager, you, you, I thought I, I know everything. I know I can do my life now. It's, it's, just the way yeah. it is. And suddenly there is this whole universe opening up and you were just in awe. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. And, and when you look at different things, it makes, you know, when you, when you study our philosophy and the books, it makes just sense from the beginning to the end. And there's like no, uh, of course, there's always open questions and it has a lot to do with belief. But when you start believing and uh, start reading these books, all this philosophy makes totally sense, you know. And, uh, and I had the feeling with, you know, not to criticize other religions, but, uh, um, you know, just other philosophies, other ways of thinking, you know, there's sometimes very limited, you know. You know, for example, reincarnation for me, you know, now, right now, it doesn't make any sense to don't believe, you know, in reincarnation, to have that we have a past life, that we are a spiritual soul, you know, going from body to body. It's, for me, it's, 
it makes so much sense and I have so much belief in it also and not only belief I really convinced about it you know that uh, and this was also like this is one aspect of you know this of in, was missing in other traditions so just in, in general the whole idea the whole concept of Christian consciousness made a lot of sense to me that was convinced me you know after other points okay next question next question do you have a job how do you earn your money how, you, how do you make a living these are very yeah, frequent asked you, questions under our want, want videos <laughs> well um, do I have a job can I say I don't know do I have a you, job you, you had a job I had uh, a you job. earned some money yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the, I started uh, you know I joined the temple and I uh, lived many years in the temple I uh, lived many years in the Hare Krishna movement and I uh, learned to cook uh, vegetarian food That was my, my, one of my main services in the temple. I cooked a lot for the Sunday feast for the devotees. And um, then I from, moved from Vienna to Germany and I started a business. You know, started a business. I started a catering business. I um, laid on, opened a restaurant. And um, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were. I was thinking, you know, when we. <laughs> When She was standing with me in the kitchen. Huh? Yeah, yeah I, I was also standing with you in the kitchen. But you had a job before also as a how how it's called when you um, as a vermieter the the when you. I was a real estate agent. Yeah. I was renting out flats. But this it, it, because because it impressed me because when I I learned to know this movement, huh. I I I was in the end of my university and I just had to write my I don't know how it's in English, diploma arbeit. Mm. And uh, I came in the mornings to the temple for the, to the program and in the evenings. And um, Prajumna n not came in the morning, but he came always in the evening to the to the um, program, to the evening program, to the to the Gora Arati and the Bhagavad Gita class. And he, he was wearing his suit. Uh, and the, the, yeah, you were you had this, this nice trouser and this sometimes even the the how it's in English tie tie. And you were what? I mean, the other ones were this Hare Krishnas, <laughs> and you were the one with the trouser and the tie, and you came to the to the to the to the Arati and played the Vedanga, and sometimes even yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but this, this I didn't do for long. I did it like for I mean, one and a half, two years or something. I did. It was just the beginning to make some money. I wanted to have some have some job after living many years in the temple, and I have. I have to say, I have no education. I didn't have any, you know, degree in anything. So I, I kind of blooped out of school very early. Um, but to continue my story, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, just to mention, you know, because many people think, you know, especially in the West, Hare Krishna means, you know, you are monk, you live in the temple full time all the time, and. Uh, but actually, you know, everyone can be Hare Krishna or like a Vaishnava or follow the Krishna traditions. I mean, Indians know this, you know, the, the, you can do almost anything, any job and can be a devotee or you know, uh, worship Krishna at the same time. So that's no problem. But this concept in the West is sometimes a little bit um, confusing. Anyways, I was working different jobs, but then finally, after cooking for many years, I started a catering business. <laughs> I cooked for, um, you know, birthdays, weddings and, uh, you know, vegetarian food. But, you know, we offered it also, this, you know, we, we sold prasadam. Uh, later on, I also opened a restaurant, a small restaurant. And uh, I started to go to festivals, bigger festivals and, um, you know, had a... Like music festivals. Music and festivals and different okay. kind of festivals. I went there also to, to ex expositions and stand, you know, build up a stand and was selling uh, vegetarian food. That was so my main thing and this developed after some years and um, yeah, this was actually the main in income and I was working mainly in the summer, summertime and in the winter we had some time for traveling and we went many times to India and, uh, and yeah, at one point we decided, okay, we love Mayapur so much, we love India so much, so let's move to Mayapur and I mean, the main reason why we moved to Mayapur. That's the next question, but maybe I just should finish my working. <laughs> so still, you know, I'm doing my working, means my caterings in the summer. Uh, usually, 
uh, you know, I'll go back for two months uh, and uh, go to Germany, make some money with selling vegetarian food, usually when life is normal. But since this um, Corona outbreak, uh, there's no festivals anymore for me this summer. So we have to make a break to wait for next year. But it's usually how I make my money. So I'm actually, you know, here in India, I'm doing something also with, uh, you know, with filming. We're doing something, you know, here's also some weddings or and some things going on here. I'm also, uh, you know, participating there. But uh, that's just a little side project. But now we're actually full-time YouTubers, besides being a mother, being a teacher for your kids and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually time to focus on our YouTube channel, yes. So, and this comes to our next question. Why are you came to India, Mayapur, for living? Why? Yeah. How? How? What did, did you, did us brought here? Yes. And um, tell us why did we came to India? Because of our kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not only. Not only, but this was the, one of the main, main reason. reason. One of the main reasons. I would say that's the main reason why we are here full time. Maybe. Yeah. Otherwise, maybe we would, you know, switch. Because them. in Germany, it's not allowed to homeschool. And um, so you can come in jail when you don't send your kids to a school. And we saw that a lot of, um, how to say, um, yeah, Hare Krishna kids, they're living in these two worlds. They have their school world and then they have the world of the parents where they go to the to the temple or being a, being a Vaishnava or try to live this 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 kind of life and then there's a school life where is nothing about Krishna where they sometimes even even afraid of of talking because they don't want to be alienated or or standing out of something and um, we wanted that our kids have an experience where they can be full-time, how to say, Hare Krishnas, <laughs> or where, where it's just normal to live a spiritual life. There is no difference between your, your, the life you live at home and the life you live um, outside your home. Yeah. And Mayapur is such a place where you can, where you can just... Yeah, I mean, on, not only for our kids, but also for us, because, you know, um, for us, this is the same thing, you know, we also yes. would like to have like a, you know, our, our life is, is centered around Krishna and everything is connected to Krishna. It's very nice for us also to live like this, that everyone, you know, knows Krishna is a Vaishnava and yes. we live in a bigger community. And <laughs> I remember when we, when we, when we moved here and we were so happy. Finally, we, 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 we surrounded by so much Hare Krishnas and, um, and we, we were walking and then we, we were greeting everyone, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> and then the people kind of looked at it, you know, what's going on who, there? Who are you? Who are you? Do, I, do I know you? <laughs> because we felt, you know, we have to greet everyone with Hare Krishna. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we soon find out also that actually Indians, especially Indians, they, <laughs> they don't sometimes greet. don't greet at all. <laughs> why, why they should greet? I mean, they live all together all the time, you know, they see mm. each other. Why they should say hello mm. and, and greet each other? <laughs> yes, yes. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah, but that's why we are here. And that's, um, I mean, the question came up, do you want to live forever in India? Or do you want to go back to Germany? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live ever here all the time. And I want to leave. <laughs> of course. I mean, we, you know, you never know, but you never know. Yeah. I mean, for me, the main point is I at least want to stay for the period of the education of my kids out yes. of, out of Germany. So let's. <laughs> I mean, we That's understand, crazy. I mean, living in, in Germany, of course, it has a lot of advantages, you know, it's a rich country and there's good jobs. And even if you don't have a job, the government is supporting you a lot. And mm. of course, everything is good. The schools are very good. I mean, you get very good education for your kids. Um, there's a good medical care and there is a big supermarket and everything. So like material life seems to be much, much more comfortable there than here, but uh, sometimes it's even illusion, I think, to have like a more comfortable life in the West than here in India. 
I mean, of course, can be. It depends on the circumstances. But sometimes, you know, to live in the West, to live in Germany, it's you have to work very hard. And, uh, it's, you know, everyone is very passionate about working and uh, doing. And uh, I mean, but 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 this is also us. I mean, there are devotees in Germany course. who doing doing quite well. And there are now also communities where the kids can go together in a school. So they're not like the only ones who alienated or something. So they, it's, but for us, it worked out or works in the moment like this better. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we are surrounded by the devotees all the time and that's, you know, we get out of the door and uh, see the devotees and have the devotees around and we live nearby a very beautiful temple and can go every day to the morning program, usually. Usually. <laughs> Can go every day to the program and, the, you know, and then there's different activities going on, our, you know, social activities also, you know, programs and uh, courses and, you know, so many things going on here. So it's, and everything is yeah, related. It's very, it's very easy to have access here to Krishna consciousness. Yes. To get inspired, lift yourself up. Next question. Next question. Are you planning, ne, das hatten wir, uh, planning to stay, mm -hmm. what are your future plans? Um, next question, my question is where Padmini studying? Where is Padmini studying? She's homeschooled. At home. Next. <laughs> next question. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> She likes to teach. She likes to teach her daughter. Yeah. She's also good. She's a good teacher. Hmm. Um, I don't you people think that it would be better for you to stay in Germany and help spread to the Hare Krishna movement there in Germany with other German devotees, especially after coronavirus outbreak when people need spirituality more than ever? It's a very good question, a very good thought. And very uh, uh, thoughtful question to, you know, one of our purposes to, you know, you know, also why we have this YouTube channel is to, you know, introduce other people to, you know, to Krishna consciousness. Uh, that's very dear to us because we found something very enlivening, very something very inspirational in the whole process. And of course, we would like to give it also to others. And it's one process to give Krishna consciousness to others in, in different ways. And and it was actually the main reason why we thought maybe we should not move to Mayapur because we would kind of leave the leave the community there and um, yeah. Um, yeah there was one, yeah, there was it one was thought. one thought. Should we really move? Should we yeah, left everything behind? Don't give our power in there. But in the end, Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, when we look back to Germany, first of all, it's not so easy, uh, you know, easy in that sense to, you know, give yourself fully to the, to preach Krishna consciousness, uh, especially when you have kids and when you have to work and, you know, there's not so much time left to, uh, to actually also yes. do something in this regard. But uh, it's not that we, you know, Our heart is still also there. Yeah, and that's why we started, like you said, this YouTube channel. And we started it in Germany to preach to German devotees. Yeah, so I'm sorry, was, my dear German devotees. We, we, yeah, this was one reason we started this YouTube channel for, yeah, for German, German speaking people and to see what is Christian consciousness like, how you can live Christian consciousness. And, uh, um, and yeah, but I think still our, our channel is still reaching Germans. Most of the Germans anyway, they speak English. So no problem. Some complaining. Some a little bit complaining. We try with subtitles and try sometimes also to speak more German in between. And that's why um, also when we um, went to Jagannath Puri, we had the German audience in mind. So this was the time where we still had this 700 German subscribers. That's why this whole Jagannath Puri series, all the videos we made there, we spoke in German. Because, yeah, we had the German audience and there are two more videos coming from, at least one, 
Maybe maybe we can make a like a poll. Maybe we can ask our audience in which language should we speak? Should we speak in English or should we speak in German? Either way, um, there will be subtitles. Maybe if it's if I know how to do it, then maybe then we make a here or here in this corner. You see a poll. You can click on it and vote if you should speak in English or in German. You can do this. Yeah. Oh. Usually you can do it. I have to find. Them. <laughs> But it would yeah. be interesting. Do we have time for another one, or I'm, I'm let me look. Um, don't have my glasses. How long did it take for you to overcome Maya influence to properly surrender to God? How long did you did you need to overcome Maya and properly surrender to God? Uh, I did not overcome Maya. So Maya means illusion, or Maya means when you're separated. From, uh, from Krishna, separated, that is still in the illusion that you think you are separated from Krishna. That's actually the definition of Maya or illusion. And um, I'm actually still in this illusion many, many times. So in the basis of my life, I'm not fully Krishna consciousness. I'm not fully aware of my own spiritual being and I'm not fully aware that everything is connected to Krishna. Sometimes more, sometimes less. So. I feel myself I'm still on the path and I still have to learn a lot and uh, progress also. That's, uh, that's just the way it is for me. That's just the way it is. And Mayapur really, really helps. You have here in this, in, this, in this area, you have an uplifting environment. You can, you can if we travel to Germany, We can really, we, we can almost physically feel it, how we lose our consciousness. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, our, it's, our spiritual yeah. Krishna consciousness. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, that's what, that's just one, one, one reason also why we moved here. Yeah, to, uh, my push to, just uplifting when you're just here in this place and it's, it's, um, you know, it's a spiritual place. It's the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahabhu. That's one reason. And uh, there's so many devotees and there's so, uh, there's um, so much chanting going on. There's so much worship going on of, you know, of the deities. And, and uh, yeah, this, just this place itself is uplifting. Someone is knocking on the door. We have to make a pause. So, uh, Mayapur, uplifting. Yeah, What that's the reason why we're here. By, uh, oh, yeah. Um, overcome yeah. Maya. We did not overcome Maya yet. We just live by grace and by prayers and by mercy. <laughs> and by, we try. How do I become a permanent member of ISKCON? What are the... I don't know the requirements. Or yeah, I should have. How do how do become a permanent part, member do, of of ISKCON? ISKCON. Well, uh, the best is if you uh, look for your nearest ISKCON temple and uh, go there and uh, you know start participating in the programs and get to know the people and. Offer some service. Offer some service, you know, some, some help. help. You know, there's always help needed in the temple. You know, every temple is different around the world. You know, it's not in some temple, you cannot just go in and say, oh, here I am. You know, you have to go to know the people. It's personal also. You have to go to know the people. Of course, there's something like a life membership. You know, you can become a life, ISKCON life member and you get some benefits from it. You can, I don't know so much about it, but yeah, in general, you just go to your to the nearest Hare Krishna temple, ISKCON temple, and uh, check it out. Yes. I mean, I never, when I said, how can I become a member? I never consciously became a member of ISKCON like, like that. I mean, I, they... Yeah, I mean, I never signed any contract. I never signed any... <laughs> uh, yeah, I never signed anything. <laughs> It's just... Uh, yeah. Either you here, you participate, or you don't, and you go out again. So it's uh, um, it's not like a sect, you know. Uh, especially in the West, people are very afraid of sects. You know, you, you get dragged into some sect and cult. cult, and you can't get out anymore. So, yeah, it's not like that. 
not like that. No. We can go and come and go as we like, as is pleased. And because we are so pleased with it, we, we just stayed. Stay. <laughs> we just stayed. <laughs> yeah, because it, it offers so much. It offers so, I mean, it offers knowledge and it offers a way for a happy life. And you can take it or not. I mean, it's not some, some, some in the comments are say also, yeah, you can go there and then you get free food and free, free, uh, place to stay. That's what, I mean, that's what you get when you moved in the temple and dedicated your whole life as a monk there. But, um, I mean, now we live uh, as a family and we don't get free, uh, uh, how to say free, 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 free prasadam sometimes yes for festivals, but Mm. Iskon is not like Iskon is providing our life. Iskon is Iskon. I mean, not in our situation. Of course, in some situations, of course, you can can make a career in Iskon also if you like, or you you know join yeah. as a member and then live there and make service there, or you know work for Iskon. Of course, I mean, especially in India, it's possible if you like to do that. Okay, but my point is, the most benefits you get in Iskon is a way to a happy life. Yeah. They, they can give you knowledge. Yeah. They provide um, the access to yeah. knowledge. People yeah. who can explain to you very well and then you just have to do it. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, we didn't to live we didn't like join ISKCON for uh, for some material benefit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Definitely not. It's uh, uh, yeah, it was it was for us was purely because we were interested in you know in this whole lifestyle and the religion and the philosophy and and everything behind it. So that was our interest. And of course, I understand you know you need you have material needs and that's okay. You know it's 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 needed and necessary. So you have the way you know find a way to you know to have be material satisfied. You know and uh, have some job, have some occupation, and also Iskon can offer this also in some ways. You know you have to. But this is very dependent on the temple under different circumstances. And I mean, it can also needs qualified people in many aspects also, you know. So, you know, we, for example, we're building here this huge temple, this 2VP temple. And, um, you know, some devotees working there as artists, as, uh, you know, architects and, you know, like different, you know, just as give an example. Yeah. So it can also needs qualified people, of course. Was it, is it, is it, I mean, I, I was, I'm thinking, is it, was it correct what I said? It's offering you the way to a happy life. It, it, it sounds like you never have problems anymore in your life. I mean, that's it. But this is maybe another topic now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it, it offers you the way to a spiritual life, how to deal with life. What is the so, ultimate goal of life? How so, to, uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> So whatever you do, even if you just in the morning, you know, chant Hare Krishna, like for five minutes or for 10 minutes, I can tell you, I can tell everyone, it will benefit everyone. You know, if it just does it, even if it does nothing else the whole day, doesn't see any devotees, doesn't, you know, go, you know, to the deities, pray and chant, or, you know, but even just chanting five minutes in the morning, 10 minutes, it will... And, you know, try to focus and try to pray and try to, you know, chant Hare Krishna, then it will give you an immense benefit for everyone. So, so you can, you know, you can just do a little bit, you know, whatever you like, but you can also, you know, if you're more inspired, you can do much, much more. So, you know, and, um, and so it's, so everyone can, you know, participate in, in any way he wants. Hmm. And this is not, it doesn't depend on, you know, even on a temple or location or even on the institution, ISKCON itself, you know, you can just, you know, take your beat back and chant. Of course, when you want to progress and, you know, progress spiritually, you know, it's good to have association, to have uh, some guidance, you know, and I mean, you know, and many more knows, you know, that you need teachers, you need like a spirit master in the best way to that he can give you knowledge and and then when you that you can progress very nicely in spirit life. It's very important, of course. Thank you. Yeah, um, that's it. I mean, we we already spoke a lot. Already one hour. It's too long. It's we don't want to make this video so long. <laughs> um, there, maybe, yeah. we, maybe we say like a Schluss, a Schlusswort. About what? 
And it, I, in general, we just want to thank everyone uh, who are supporting us, who, who are supporting our work, who are supporting the channel just by subscribing. And uh, kind of means a lot to us to, you know, the people have interest um, yes. in, in our life and how we, you know, um, presenting Krishna consciousness. Yes, say. No, I also, I mean, it was kind of overwhelming. Yes. To to get this overwhelming support and to get this response suddenly <laughs> to all our videos and our little yeah. little live, and um, we still we yeah. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> you know like like you said we had seven seven eight hundred subscribers and suddenly we had. Uh, we almost had we are over 40,000 subscribers right now, so it's exploded in in one month, you know, actually within one week. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yes. it was overwhelming for us also, but we're actually happy about it and to have a big audience to speak to. And like I said, we we're very grateful. Yeah, we're very grateful. Thank and you. The, all the comments, what you're giving, it's mostly, you know, it's, it's very positive and yeah, we feel very inspired to continue also, actually to do more videos. Now we're a little bit limited <laughs> because of the situation. <laughs> we cannot go out so much, so we actually like to go out and, you know, go on a parigram or go around and show Mayapur. And and I'm, I'm used to tell stories. When you look through my channel, there are a lot of stories, but I never, I never made it in English. How to say, I never... But you could read it. <laughs> English you, stories. So you can tell nice stories in English, no problem. <laughs> Should she tell more stories? Just tell, let us know in the comments. Should she tell us more and stories? And another thing I know, I, 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 I think that now where we have mostly Indian Indian subscribers, they, they know about the stories. I don't have to tell about the stories. Even if they know the stories, which, you know, not everyone knows the stories, but even if, if they know the stories, it's always nice to hear the stories again. You know, it says in the scriptures, you can hear the stories of Krishna all the time. Over and never, over again. Over and over again. They never get boring. That's actually true. <laughs> so let's see. But thank you for now, for all your, for all your support. We hope this little video introduced us a little bit more and about... Answered, answered some questions. Answered com, some questions. Um, burning questions burning <laughs> repeating questions under our videos and um, yeah see you next time see you next time thank you very much thank you Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna.